hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you how you can create this lesson plan template in Canva so if you'd like to see that continue watching this video I'm typing in flyer guys because I want to get a flyer template to use because the flyer template is 8.5 inch by 11 inch template which will be perfect for a lesson plan page so here I've chosen a blank template Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is to add a bit of design to the corner here. So I'm going to go to temp elements. You know, in elements, I'll be, I'm selecting shapes. I'm going to choose this square one here. And I'm just gonna position it here on the side. So I'm just using the dragging feature here in Canva guys, pretty convenient to just, you know, position this where I want it to be. Okay, so there are a couple of things I definitely want to ensure that I have on this lesson plan template here. So, I need to have a section for the date so I'm just gonna go back to elements here and type in box or you know what let me just use lines because I want to have a little section at the top there for the date so I'm gonna use lines so let me I'm gonna drag to make the line a bit slimmer then extend it maybe that's yeah that should be fine and bring it up to the top here so before i continue guys i'm going to change the color of the border i'm gonna make it this pink color then let me get some text here so i'm pressing t on my keyboard no i'm gonna type in the words lesson plan no, I'm just going to change the font style. All right, so now let me just drag and enlarge this. Okay, now I'm just going to rotate it because I want to place it on the side right here. So I'm going to rotate it. Okay guys, so at this point, I am going to add a bit of design to the border here. So I'm going back to elements. And in elements, you do have a lot of different uh, designs that you can use. So basically you could type in just about anything that you're thinking of to put here in the border and, and uh, use it. So I have this design already here. So I'm just gonna click on it to add it to my document here, my template here, I should say, and I'm just dragging to resize it and then positioning it in the border here. Okay, now that that's done, um, just let me resize this page so that it's a bit bigger. Okay, so now I'm just gonna change the color of the line here to black. Good. Next, I want to add date to the page, a section where you have the date. So I'm gonna put it up here. So I'm on the page. So I'm just gonna press T on my keyboard to bring up that text box. And then I type in the word date. It's in lowercase guys. So if you're ever in Canva and you're working, you're typing in text and your text is lowercase, what you want it uppercase, just come and click on this icon and that will make your text uh, uppercase. So I'm just gonna change the font size to 12. Then I'm just gonna drag and position this 
up here 12 look is looking way too small right now so let me just change that to about 18 or even 24 all right that should work okay so on to the other things that i need to add to my lesson plan template so i need a section for objectives so i'm going to add another text box here for objectives i'm just dragging it to just re uh, change the size of the text that we have here i'm also going to need to have evaluations which i'm gonna put right beside objectives so let me get another text box on my template here and type that in again i'm just dragging to resize and position it where i want it okay so now that i have these guys i now need to add some lines i'm going to add at least seven lines so to add my lines i'm going back to elements typing in the word lines i'm gonna work with this line here but guys if you scroll through you'll realize that you have different lines that you can use line styles so you can always choose what you wish so i'm clicking on this line here right here you can see it coming up in pink so first i want it to be a bit thinner so i'm gonna drag this until it's as thin as i want it to be then i'm going to just drag it across like this to to make it longer then let me bring it up and position it here I think I'm gonna need to shorten it a bit because it's stretching over too much underneath so that should be good and I'm just going to just minimize the size of the words objectives and evaluation okay so i need seven lines and i don't intend to go back to templates and type in lines and all of that again guys so to to cut it short what you can do is to simply click on duplicate up here and i said seven lines so i'm just gonna click this about six times right so now that I have the lines I'm just gonna drag them and position them where I need them to be Canva is so good guys where it has some lines that you can use as a sort of guide so you're able to basically position your lines the same distance from each other so the, the line space is the same so you just whilst you're dragging your lines around you just need to look at your line space and ensure that the pink dotted lines that are there they're lining up in a way that tells you that your lines are the same distance apart i said so the lines are pink i don't want them pink i need them black so i'm just gonna drag and highlight and then go up to color and change it all to black no i need these same lines same number of lines under evaluation so i'm just gonna drag to highlight all of them and go to duplicate then I'm just going to drag that over here under evaluation. So this saves your time, guys. You don't have to go about actually going back over to templates and typing in lines and all of that again. So now I need to add a section for important points. So I'm going to add my text box and type in important points. And this is just for basically any important notes that need to be highlighted during the lesson you would put it here 
so now I need lines so I'm just gonna copy this line that's up here under date and so I'll just make a duplicate of it and drag it down this is just to save time guys in comparison to having to go back to elements and typing in and all of that so these are just some shortcuts that you can use when doing your lesson plan I need nine lines here under important points so I'm going to make a duplicate of this line eight times and then or I'll just make a duplicate of this line because I want to show you something so I'll make a duplicate of this line four times and then show you how you can just add more lines to it so one two three four so we have this here so now I'm just dragging and positioning these lines making sure they are the same distance apart good so here I have five lines right guys and I need three more so to get the other three instead of duplicating one by one again I'll just uh, select three here and then click on the duplicate icon and then when I have those three lines now I just add it to the bottom here and ensure that it is also falling in the position where it's the same distance from the other lines so here we have that pretty quick guys pretty quick now for the final part on my lesson plan sheet here guys I want to have a section for notes so I need to type that in so I have notes and I'm dragging this down here now I need more space for the notes so I'm just gonna highlight this and bring it up a bit closer to the word important points I'm also just gonna adjust important points and bring it up a bit more on the page. Then bring up notes. And I think I will also minimize the size of notes as well. Just so, so I'm just gonna go back through and minimize the size of these headings just so that I'll have enough space for the section for notes. So guys, it's it's fully customizable once whilst you're doing your own where as you can see I need it I need to go back here now and just minimize the size of my text I can just easily go back and use a drag-in feature to do that so it's really really e quick and easy to get these things done so again I'm just gonna highlight all of my lines here and bring them up a bit closer mm -hmm. So let me just go back to notes now. So now at notes, I'm just gonna have a little section for that. So I'm going back to elements and I'm gonna choose a shape square here to work with. You have a lot of options. You could do a lot of things here guys, but for this, I'm just gonna use the shape square. This shape to just get like a little box here where I can input notes then I'm just gonna drag and extend it to download this lesson plan template as a PDF file guys you'll just need to come up here click right at this icon here and go to download and the PDF print file option is the one that will come up so you just then need to click on download so guys that's it uh this is how you can create a lesson plan template in canva for a really in a in a short in a short period of time and you're able to customize it with your colors any specific icon like how i have these leaves here you can add any little you know 
specific design to it that you want to have on your lesson plan template to make it a bit more personalized and suited to your style so guys again this is it <laughs> let me know if you found this video informative let me know if you will be trying this out or if you've done this already and if you have any questions feel free to ask them so guys thank you for watching this video and i hope you found it useful so that's it for today guys until my next video i'll talk to you then goodbye